And joining me in studio now is Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. He's the CEO of Origin Oil Incorporated, stock symbols OOIL. Riggs, good to see you again. Thank you, Don. It's a pleasure. Well, you're the beneficiary of a late satellite, so you get to go on first this week. Um, now, your company, I mentioned this when you were on the program last week, uh, you're basically in the business of growing oil. Uh, why don't you tell us again what the company does? Yes, Don. Well, we've heard a long time about algae, about its promise, and people have tended to think about algae as a aquaculture. We're now thinking of it as an industrial process, uh, much the way a brewery would operate, and this allows us to scale up algae not so much for food, uh, but rather as a fuel, and that has tremendous potential. The issues are that technology is needed, and we're the technology company that hopes to solve that technology challenge. Of course, we're talking about biofuels, and of course, uh, corn has gotten a bad rap lately because it's being used for biofuel, and a lot of people are blaming food shortages and high food prices on that. Uh, there are not a lot of people running around eating algae right now. That's exactly right, although I must say that if, if we reduce the price of algae as a fuel, it will likely gain acceptance as a food down the road, <laughs> and that's a wonderful vision, but we're very much focused on its potential as a fuel. It's pretty much over for any biofuel that is a food. Okay. We just can't afford to starve the populations of the world right. in order to run our SUVs. We also can't use up good land. Mm -hmm. And finally, we can't use up all this water that is required. Right. Uh, algae is wonderful because it's only a marginal food today, more for pharmaceuticals, really, uh, or a supplement. And it also uh, doesn't use land in our particular vision. And finally, it, it recycles most of its water. I see. So uh, since we last spoke, uh, what's new with the company? Very exciting, Don. We uh, just announced yesterday that we received a major um, uh, praise from a, a key algae researcher in Tokyo, mm -hmm. uh, a university near, near Tokyo called Tsukuba University, and Professor Takaki Maikawa, who is Professor Emeritus in the uh, institute that deals with the algae studies, reviewed our numbers for production, and he found them to be in the range required for viability and re uh, return on investment. Now, you know, when, when, when people are watching us talk about this and they think of the amazing appetite that just in the United States that we have for uh, oil products, um, uh, and let's, let's speak specifically about fuels, uh, is it feasible? And we should tell them, is it feasible that enough algae can be produced to create the oil products that we need? That's a very good point. Imagine, if you will, a cubic mile of petroleum. Mm -hmm. A cubic mile. That's what the world uses every single day. Wow. That's a vast amount. A vast amount. So it's a vast challenge. And uh, as you may know, Google uh, just announced a multi-trillion dollar program to try and wean us off of fossil fuels by 2030. Mm -hmm. They're aware of that, of that challenge as well. Now, how can we make it happen with, with a biofuel? And I think it's because uh, we, we can't just think of this as a rollout. We're going to roll out these plants from you know, Adams Boulevard in Los Angeles and <laughs> over time because we'll, we'll, we'll be you know, done of course. long before it, it, we get out there. What we do instead is our vision is a technology licensing model that gets the knowledge out there to partners in all the different countries of the world and also with all the specialized applications so that I call it mushrooms after the rain. If you can get instant adoption all over the world, what the first bush called a thousand points of light, remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same kind of idea is to instantly activate all this activity worldwide and you get this simultaneous thing that we saw with the internet where everybody's adopting it all at once. And this is why I was really brought onto this company is because I know that process very well and we're strong believers that's how we're going to solve this, uh, this whole bioenergy challenge. Uh, almost out of time, but I just want to ask you to peer into a crystal ball for a moment. Uh, in how many years could you envision a, a number of algae cultivation plants uh, propping up uh, all over the world? That's a very good point. Uh, and I talk about mushrooms, but <laughs> there are physical limitations. Next year we'll be experimenting with the entry-level pilot units. 2010, we'll be building the first, what you might call, breweries. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the two or three years following, we're, we're, we hope to see a, a massive increase in this number by us sponsoring and facilitating others doing it. Again, Origin Oil, O-O-I-L.
cultivating algae to create oil. Uh, Riggs is such a fascinating technology. Uh, looking forward to continuing the updates as we watch your company. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks again, Don.